Hello and welcome to this edition of Midweek Manna. We have been looking at becoming like Jesus all month long, and here we are the last day of January. Wow, where has the month gone? And so we've looked at various traits, and the last one I want to talk about is love. We've looked at compassion, we've looked at kindness, we've looked at gentleness, humility, patience, I might say patience already, uh, forgiveness, and now love. There's a song that I used to sing in church growing up Southern Baptist that said, uh, they would know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they would know we are Christians by our love. And at the time, didn't understand what the, what the uh, song was about, but now I do. Because as a Christ follower, we are to show other people love, no matter what they do. And sometimes we have to love people from a distance. We don't always have to love people in our uh, three square feet. Sometimes we can love them from a distance. We can bless them from a distance and just let them go. And so as we talk about love this, today, I wonder what would happen as I thought about this, if we were to counteract the negativity on social media with love. You know, throughout social, if you are on Facebook, you will see people constantly egging others, others on, saying things maybe they really don't mean or just hiding behind the camera. But what if we went back with love? I wonder what would happen. I'm sure some people probably come back at you like, who do you think you are kind of thing? But if we began to just spread seeds of love around, I wonder what would happen. What would the responses be? How would people respond to you? How would people respond to the person who initially put the, the post out there? So love is one of those things like forgiveness that is so hard for us to do, especially towards people that we might not like. And the reality is this, my belief, just my belief, nothing scriptural, but my belief is that I don't have to like you. I have to love you with the love of Jesus. I don't have to like you, but I have to love you with the love of Jesus. First John 4, 8 says, whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. And that's true. And love is for everybody. And so I hope you have enjoyed this month's topic on becoming more like Jesus. If you've missed uh, uh, a day or an edition of it, I invite you to go back and uh, look at the ones on the Facebook page or even on the St. John's MCC YouTube channel. They're all there. So as always, when we do the evening time of Midweek Manor, I like to close in prayer. So will you pray with me? Christian God, thank you for this month. And here we are on the end of the first month of the new year. I thank you for the opportunity to talk about becoming more like Jesus. And I pray, God, this will be a foundation for all of us, myself included, as we go through this year. God, continue to be with those who listen to these. And, and I pray, God, that they will get some, some nugget of truth or some nugget of blessing from it whenever they listen to it. I thank you, God, for giving me the the chance to do this. And thank you for uh, putting it on my heart to do it. And so God, if we continue to walk the path you've laid before us, be with us emotionally, uh, spiritually, physically. God, remind us that you are there with us, no matter where we are, that we are never alone because your presence is there. All we have to do is be quiet and feel it being there. So God, we thank you. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your love. Thank you for all that you continue to do for us and through us. And I pray all these things in the name of Jesus, our Savior and our brother. Amen. Thank you for hanging out with me all this time. And I will see you next week as we begin a time of Lent. Lent begins on, on February 14th. And we will start uh, looking at that next Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.